Meantime, a police officer responding to a call crashes into a car, sending a young girl to the hospital with severe injuries. What the officer says happened in written reports, though, contradicts witness accounts and even a CPD supervisor's finding. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno has this original report. I couldn't walk. Vera Watson suffered a fractured pelvis in a 2015 crash. I cried sometimes, like I couldn't sleep. This lawsuit alleges Officer Santino Giotto was driving the wrong way down a one-way street near East 108th Street and South State at a high rate of speed and failed to activate or use his emergency lights, horn, sirens, or any other device. You were all were just so in shock, you just braced for impact? Yeah. In this police report, signed by Giotto, he writes he was responding to an assist call of a person with a gun and he had emergency equipment activated and struck a vehicle that failed to yield. On that same report, an investigating supervisor, a sergeant, writes after investigating the accident at the scene, the sergeant discovered Giotto was traveling eastbound on a one-way westbound street. You were supposed to serve and protect. Like, why would you lie? In a deposition, Giotto said his understanding was, I didn't have to indicate what direction the street was. I mean, you would know or somebody would be able to discover that 108th Street is westbound. The reason that one would want to leave out that they were going the wrong way down a one-way street is because that's against the law. In these witness statements, one woman says she did see blue flashing lights, but she along with another woman say they never heard sirens and they saw the vehicle going the wrong way down a one-way street. This work order summary report on the CPD SUV dated a month after the crash revealed a failure of the control box for the PA system and a failure of the light siren control box. The very things that are designed to try and keep the public safe aren't working yet they're being used. That's got to be fixed. Giotto, who had recently started on the force, received a reprimand and driving school for what an internal investigation found to be a preventable accident. He's still on the job. The city law department, who represents Giotto and CPD, both say they cannot comment because of pending litigation. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Erica, Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.